As I was walking through the lawn, I noticed a few off-colored brown spots. Now these are spots that are not normal to appear in the lawn. And I also noticed where the tires from the mower had turned that the sod was turned up and rolled over. So I decided to go through and tug on the lawn. And what I found was grubs had cut the roots off right at the soil level, almost like a sod cutter where you can roll up the sod. One of the things you have to determine is, is treatment if it's warranted. And how you can tell is if you have 10 or 12 of these grubs, which could be Japanese beetle grubs, per square foot is occurring in your lawn, then you need to treat your lawn. If you only have maybe two or three per square foot, you might want to wait till spring to treat with the long term treatment. But it's also easy just to pull up on a lawn and I'll show you how you can determine how many grubs you have. As I was pulling up the lawn, just like sod, you can just tug at it and pull it right off in many areas. And you can look at all the grubs that are present. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's even one here. And you can see they've completely severed the roots right from the soil. As you look real closely, you'll notice new white roots beginning to regrow. And also, as you're doing a count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that shows you, and that's less than a square foot, that means treatment is warranted. After a rain or after you irrigate the lawn, the lawn can reroot. But if you fail to irrigate the lawn or you're going through a drought period, the lawn can be killed and then you have to reseed it. So first, just go out, irrigate deeply. The lawn will reroot as you see here. You also notice that we have about 10 to 12 per square foot and it is important then that you treat. And uh, you know, companies make grub products that are grub proofing products. Some of those should be used in the spring and some can be used in the fall. And you have companies like Bonide, Bear Advance, you, you'll see where it says grub control. Now these can be a variety of grubs, so we're not sure what type. You almost have to have the grub sent to a diagnostic lab to determine which one it is. You know, there's Japanese beetles, there's June beetles, there's other beetles that do affect and lay their eggs sometime in June, end of June, July, the eggs hatch out, they turn into larvae as you see here. And what happens is these grubs will winter over right here, they'll feed a little bit again in the spring, and then they'll hatch out sometime in early summer. In addition to noticing the brown spots in your lawn, you also might notice animals digging in a lawn trying to feed on the grubs, like possums and skunks. That's another sign that you might have a problem. But again, if you have 10 or 12 per square foot, it is recommended, always according to label directions, that you use a product to treat in the fall. If you miss the fall, you can use the spring products early in the season as the grubs start working up, getting ready to hatch out. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to InTheGardenRadio.com.